Hi everyone, I am Teacher Diane. In today's lesson, we are going to study addition and subtraction of integers. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Let us now look at how to do operations on signed numbers. So in particular, we want to add signed numbers. So there are two rules. It depends whether you have the same sign or different signs. Let's look at this term over here, magnitude. What is the meaning of the word magnitude of numbers? If we have negative 7, the magnitude is 7. If it's 7, the magnitude is 7 as well. Meaning to say, you just look at the number and ignore its sign. If you have the same sign, you add the magnitudes and copy the same sign. For instance, I have negative 7 plus negative 3. So since I have the same sign, I just look at the magnitudes, ignore the sign. So 7 plus 3 is 10 and then copy the sign. If I have 7 plus 3, so both of them are positive. Okay, if there's no sign, that automatically means it's positive. So again, 7 plus 3 is 10. Since they are positive, copy the common sign. What if we have different signs? So in, instead of adding, we now subtract the magnitudes and then which sign will win the number with a greater magnitude will win for example i have negative 7 plus 4 okay so i'm adding two numbers with different signs negative 7 and 4 so what will i do i will subtract 7 minus 4 is 3. But which sign am I going to use? The number with a greater magnitude, which is, in this case, 7, right? So copy the sign of, neg of 7. So that is negative. So the answer is negative 3. Add the following numbers. 4 plus 7 is 11. They have the same sign here, so you add. Here also, negative 4 plus negative 7, same sign, so you add. But in this case, the answer is negative because we copy the common sign. Here, negative 4 plus 7, so you have different signs, so what do you do? Subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3, but which sign are we going to use? Which one is bigger? 4 or 7? Seven? 7. So copy the sign, positive 3. Then similarly here, the answer is negative 3. How do we subtract sign numbers? First thing that you have to do is replace the subtraction operation with addition. And then, change the sign of the number to be subtracted and then add. For instance, I have 7 minus negative 3. This is, that's how you read that, right? 7 minus, this is negative 3. So, this is the subtraction sign. So, change subtraction to addition and then change the sign of the second number so negative 3 becomes positive 3 so therefore that is simply 7 plus 3 that is 10. what about if we have negative 10 minus 20 so, minus becomes plus and positive 20. Remember, you're always changing the sign of the second number. This becomes minus. So, that's negative 10 plus negative 
20. What do we have here? Same sign. So, therefore, we add 10 plus 20 is 30. And copy the sign, common sign, which is negative. What I want you to do is to pause the video and answer the following. Okay, assuming that you have already paused the video and you're done, let us now add negative 5 plus negative 6. We're adding numbers with the same sign. So what do you do with 5 and 6? Add, right? 5 plus 6 is 11. Copy the common sign. Next. Negative 9 plus 10. We have two different signs. One negative. This is positive. So what do you do with 9 and 10? You subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. And what is the sign that we are going to use? Positive. Because 10 is bigger than 9. Next. 31 plus negative 56. Different signs. So what do you do with 31 and 56? Subtract. Alright. 56 minus 31 is 25. But which sign are we going to use? Negative. Because... 56 is bigger than 31. Next, negative 17 plus 35. Different signs again. So, subtract. 35 minus 17 is 18. Which sign are we going to use? That of 35. So, that's it. Positive. Next, Negative 16 plus negative 23, same sign. So what do you do? Add. 16 plus 23 is 39 and then copy the common sign which is negative. Again, pause your video and answer the following. Assuming that you have already answered this, let us discuss the answers. 19 plus negative 14, different sign, so subtract. 19 minus 14 is 5. And who's the winner? 19, so it will remain positive. Negative 26 plus 17, different signs again, so subtract. 26 minus 17 is 9. And then who's the winner? 26. So copy the sign. Next, you are subtracting. This is 53 minus negative 12. So what do you do? Change subtraction to addition and change the sign of the second number. So that is 53 plus 12. We get 65. Next, negative 69 minus 15. So this is negative 69. This becomes plus. This becomes minus. So negative 69 plus negative 15. That is same sign, so you add. What do we have? This is 4, 84, and then copy the common sign. Last, negative 28 minus negative 47. This becomes plus, plus. Negative 28 plus positive 47. You have different signs, so subtract. What is that? 19. And who is the winner? 47 is bigger, so that's 
positive. Clear?